my rabid rabbits welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany also known as rabid squishy and today I have a makeup video for you I bought the entire Sailor Moon collection from Colourpop as well as a few other things and I figured after I open them we could maybe do some sort of little makeup look with them I thought that might be fun so yeah let's get into it so here we have the ColourPop box, nice and pink, with all of their little diamond shapes. So cute. I always find them to be absolutely like adorable. I love their boxes. I love a lot of boxes. I'm a packaging fan. It's a, it can be a problem because I want to save everything. I usually don't, but like I always want to save the packaging. So now we will just go ahead and open this. Upon opening it, it says ColourPop, and it's all in bubble wrap. So if we try to take some of the bubble wrap away, oh, I am geeking out so much. Okay, I love Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon so much, and I love Luna from Sailor Moon so much that I named my kitty Luna because it was necessary. Um, my favorite scout, for anybody that didn't know, is Chibiusa. I know, um, it's ridiculous, but she's so pink, I can't help it. Um, in the box, this looks so amazing. Um, hopefully I can show you without it all falling out. Um, so yes, let's get into it. Okay, I will put the box down. Let us start with the Sailor Moon collection. Okay, so first off. We have this little Luna thing. Oh, it's a pressed powder blush. <laughs> the packaging, I can't get over it. <laughs> it's so adorable. Okay, opening it up. <gasps> this is so cool. I hope this shows up well on camera. So, it is actually holographic. So when you move it side to side, I really hope this is showing up. Um, you can see that it just has the images of her and then Luna up when she first finds Luna. Uh, just says Sailor Moon times <laughs> Oh, Okay guys, I'm gonna have a really, really hard time um, using this because it's going to destroy this absolutely precious face. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Um, that is so cute. I love the little ColourPop mirror. You can probably, it's probably reflecting my camera, but like, Luna's little face is on there. That is adorable. Yeah, I was gonna do some color swatches, so we will just, I'm gonna use my finger. Um, I don't know how well they'll show up in my apartment light. Um, so for the blush, number one, we have, oh, I'm gonna have to do it twice. There, it's nice and light. It's a pretty color. Okay, <laughs> I tried to avoid the face because I really didn't want to like, you know, mess up the Luna face already, though it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I love the little moons. Next product is probably another blush. Yep, pressed powder blush because it is another one of these little Luna packages. And when we open it, <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm just... Uh, Sailor Moon stuff makes me geek out. Okay, it has got the same opening. Is this, I hope this isn't the same blush. I bought the collection, I think it's darker. Yes, it looks like it's a darker pink. So this is what this one is like, and then I'll put them together so you can kind of see the difference. One is much lighter than the other one. Um, same packaging, different colors, I'm here for it. Uh, the thing that really drew me into this was that everything was pink. Um, well, pink based, all the colors that I normally wear, I figured I could use this makeup a lot. Okay, and we will swatch this one with a different finger. Here, the best that we can. And then, do it one more time. Oh yeah, look at that, it's the second one here. Super cute here for it because of all the makeup swatching that I figured I'd be doing I brought a makeup wipe 
so I could get it off my fingers and then dry them so we could just move on to the next thing. We'll even, you know what, we'll take it off my arm too so we don't get confused as we are testing more colors. Okay, so I'm trying to go over the Sailor Moon things in this box before I get into the other couple of random things I put in. So let us get into these. It looks like there are two. They are a lip bundle. One is Usagi in her school uniform and the other one is her in her Sailor Scout uniform or Sailor Senshi uniform, whichever you prefer. The back has little Luna. I'm trying to find where it says like maybe the colors on here, like the names. So this one is called Usagi Ultra Blotted Lip. Moon Tiara Ultra Glossy Lip. <laughs> That's kind of a long name, but I'm here for it. Oh, oh, okay, maybe, I think there's two, two products inside. Yes. Wow, okay. These are beautiful. Look at this. Okay, look at these colors. Yep, that just meant that there were two names. I love all the moons on here. Here we have the Ultra Blotted Lip. And then we have the ultra glossy lip. Uh, I love that. Sometimes I like layer gloss on top of regular like lip colors, but a lot of the times I prefer to just have like glossy lips if I'm just like running to the grocery store. Um, let us see what this looks like. Opening it up. Nice applicator. I like these for my lips. I don't, I have a lot of regular lipsticks, but I actually kind of prefer these weird swatches. Ooh, that is a nice, nice pink. Nice pink we got going on there. Okay, next one. This one I don't know if we will be able to see so well because it's gonna be the, uh, the ultra glossy lip and it's just like gloss and I would put it over the other one but it hasn't quite dried yet. Yeah, you can't see it very well. I'm sure it'll look cute on. Maybe over the other one. Maybe it'll be too much over the other one, but maybe not because it looks like the other one is drying pretty matte. Okay, and now we have the other one. Opening it up here. I had to stop myself from putting on bracelets and stuff so that way I could do the swatches. <laughs> Oh, this one. This is such a pretty pink. This one is the Ultra Blotted Lip. And when we swatch it, we will swatch it up here on my hand. It looks like, oh, I love that color. I can tell this is going to be one I use a lot. Um, yes, yeah, so pretty. I think maybe they go together. Like maybe you gloss one over the other. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because I'm going to do a makeup look and we'll see what works. Oh, a little gooey, but it's because it's gloss. And then you put it over like this. You can't see it as well again, but it is gloss. Let us take these colors off of my arm and hand. We're gonna get a pretty pink makeup wipe situation going on here. Oh, it's hard to get all the glitter off. That's funny. Next up, we have these glitterly obsessed body glitters. This is so obsessed on the side. Um, both of the packagings look the same. They're like this. One is called Moon Prism Power. The other one is Moonlight Legend. Let us look at the Moon Prism Power first. Right upon opening it, you can see that the cap is really cute. Uh, yeah, I'm here for this. Wow. <gasps> wow, okay, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, I really hope so, but the glitter inside is a little, like, there's little moons in it. Is there stars? Yep, there's little moons and stars in this body glitter. This is so cute! Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited. I have a, uh, I have not been feeling very well. So this box has been sitting here for a while and I've been dying to like open it, but I really wanted to do like a little video for it. So, uh, you know. Okay, and next we're gonna open the Moonlight Legend. 
<laughs> this one's all light pink and pretty. Uh, it looks like there is no stars or anything. I think it's just little like glitter things, but it's still so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Sorry, I keep looking down. I keep looking in the box at what's next because I'm so excited. Okay, not Sailor Moon, not Sailor Moon. Okay, and now we have the long-awaited makeup palette. <laughs> okay, so the outside packaging is cool as heck. And the back is just, it names the colors. Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. I hope the inside looks as pretty as this outside. Oh, it's cute. It's another little holographic thing. They're really into the holographic. Wow, okay. So this one, when you move it back and forth, it shows Usagi being happy to getting like really excited. Oh, that's so cool. The inside is absolutely beautiful and these colors are so good. Okay, here we are. These are the colors. So I will swatch them all. We will go one at a time and see how this works. I would, <laughs> I would swatch them on the insides of my arms because I think they'd show up better, but I'm tattooed there, <laughs> so I apologize. <laughs> Okay, Shining Moon is the first color we're going to swatch. Boom, it's very light, it's very subtle, it's very pretty, if you can see it. And then we have Twilight Flash. Oh, I gotta use a different finger here. This one is just a little bit of a base color, pretty. And then there is Silver Crystal, which is very sparkly. Ah! Oh, yeah, I forgot the ColourPop Super Sparkly ones. You gotta be careful so you don't get too much fallout everywhere. Ooh, that is some nice shine. Wow, okay. I think there, uh, things show up easier on my hand, so. We'll do one more color, maybe a cross, and then we will, and then I will, um, clean off my hand. We're gonna do sideways. So this is the Moon Castle. Pretty. Okay, on to the next row. We start with Full Moon. And Full Moon is a little hard to see on my skin tone, but it has a nice shimmer to it. And then next up is Silver Millennium. I love all of the names based on Sailor Moon. Ooh, I actually, in my uh, my little pony palette, there's a color that kind of looks like the Silver Millennium color that I've used the heck out of right here. And uh, I'm running out of it, so this is neat. Okay, Silver Millennium. It's not as powerful as the one that I have in the My Little Pony palette. I would say I was probably wrong because you can't really see it on my skin tone. Um, but I think it'll be a good like mixer and to shimmer things up. Okay, next we have Mare Essentials. I will try to start showing them right before I swatch them. Use my thumb for this. There we go, right here. Okay, and the last one in this row is Luna. Uh, <laughs> that's my gal. <laughs> Luna is this beautiful, like, little purple color. Amazing. Okay, the last row. So we start off with Justice, this pretty yellow color. And it is like this. Next up we have Tuxedo Rose, this sparkly pink. Okay. 
Cool, that one is vibrant. Woo, Tuxedo Rose coming through with those vibrant colors. Okay, then we have Love. That one is a really good color too. Last but not least in this row, we have Miracle Romance, this cute little purple. Ooh, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the one on the end there. I love it. Okay, this palette is solid. It is a win. I am absolutely crazy about it. I cannot wait to do a makeup look with it. Okay. So that is it for the Sailor Moon makeup, and now I just have a few things else that I got in here. Um, we'll start off with the Malibu Barbie palette. It looks pretty. I'm not gonna swatch all of this one just because I was more trying to uh, show off the Sailor Moon one, but if you want a video, uh, where I swatch this one and maybe do a look with um, the Barbie makeup. I only bought, yeah, I only bought two things from the Barbie collection because they were what I thought I would wear. The back looks like this. The palette is cool. It's cute, nice and cute. Oh, the inside is really pretty. Check this out. These colors are incredible. Okay, so we have all of these colors going on right here. So beautiful. I want to get a proper look. There is Cali Girl, Vintage Doll. Come on, let's go party. Shine on, wet coats. West Coast, <laughs> this one says West Coast. I'm so bad at this. So West Coast, Best Coast. Oh, I love the little heart detail that they do in there. Uh, follow the sun, that is such a pretty pink. Malibu Memories, I don't have that much blue. Um, this dress has blue in it though, so there's that. And I think I have some coming that might have a little blue in them. So that'll be helpful. Um, Zuma Beach. I'm glad that they included a brown and some light colors because I like to put them like underneath my eyes. Okay, and then we have Make Waves, Boardwalk, Surf's Up. Wow, that is a beautiful blue, like sparkly. 1971 and SoCal. Wonderful. Okay, the lip duo for the Malibu Sunset. I think they are meant to be lip duos, the Sailor Moon ones. I will use them as that when I do my makeup look, just to see. Oh, maybe not, because this one's different. Okay, so we have the Malibu Sunset Lippy Pencil, just says Barbie times ColourPop. It's a darker pink color. We'll do a tiny swatch. I don't want to mess up the tip. But you can see it there. This, the Barbie lipstick tube, reminds me of something I might have had when I was like younger. I don't know, I'm here for it. It reminds me of like 90s and like, ooh, sweet. I did not remember that this was like a red color. Cute. And that looks like that. The same color, but it's the lipstick. These ones are harder to get off my hand than I thought. This is some powerful lipstick. I'm always a, a huge fan of ColourPop because they come out with really good makeup for the price range that they are in. Um, I would honestly kind of have to say that uh, some of the ColourPop palettes 
um, most of them are better than some of my really expensive palettes. Not to throw any shade, but ColourPop's doing something right. Okay, and now we have some random things. I got this Juice Pop Color Duo. Yeah, Color Duo. There are three things in here. That's not a duo, that is a trio. Juice Pop. Are these? Oh wait, they're called Juice Pop? Uh, color Sticks. I can't remember what these are. Oh, these are gel liners. I think... They're like eyeliner stuff? Yeah, I'm not gonna swatch them. I thought I could um, use them. And then this one's a red. I remember, I remember when I was buying them, I was like, I could use these to draw cute shapes on my face, but I can also just use them if I want like a uh, out there eyeliner look. Oh, <laughs> both colors are different on each side. Here's purple on that one. Okay, I believe I showed the other one from that side. I don't know which one I showed for here. Backtracking, I'm sure I can fix this in editing, but you know, just in case. And we have a pink. Oh yeah, I remember, I just thought these would be really fun. Another purple. And a light pink, of course, which I love. Probably my favorite out of all of the different colors they're offering there. These crystal face jewels, I actually bought these so that way I may wear them on my, um, my birthday is coming up, April 14th. I don't know if this video will be before or after that, but I'm having like a birthday party on the 9th and uh, I thought these would go really cute with my cord. So I bought some face gems for that. Now these ones are gel liners, uh, BFF I assume is what the types they are are in. We have Swerve and we have Exit. So Swerve, I usually use liquid eyeliner, uh, specifically like the KVD one. So I've never tried like a gel liner before, but you know, this one is just black. And then this one here. Is a white. I thought it would be cute for under the eyes sometimes. Just a every once in a while. And then if I take out all the packaging. The rest of the bubble wrap. Oh, this must have. Maybe I ordered this in. I don't know, this looks like a fall thing, but this says we're falling for you and it is so cute. And it's uh, just ColourPop on the back and then it has their social medias. I will link them down below, though I'm sure a lot of people have already heard of them. But if you haven't, it's inexpensive, like good makeup. I highly recommend. Okay. And now we will move into the makeup part of it, the uh, creating a look. Okay, so now it is time for the makeup look. Uh, I wouldn't like anybody watching this to keep in mind, I am not a makeup artist, I like makeup. I just have uh, fun and try to see what looks cute. My techniques are probably not the best. Um, it doesn't, we're just having fun here. So, uh, you know, we're just trying to create a look and see what happens. Um, I do have more than my Sailor Moon products here because I have to, you know, foundation and whatnot. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, without my glasses, I am blind as a bat, which might be helpful because I'll get pretty close to the camera and my mirror that's sitting off to the side. <laughs> um, I was gonna pop in my contacts, but uh, uh, I have dry eye syndrome, so they irritate my eyes, so uh, I've been trying to wear my contacts less and less because I noticed it was getting worse and worse over time. Um, but I have uh, cute pink glasses, if I do say so myself, so yeah. First things first, we're gonna pin up my bangs so we can get the full face. I know my roots are kind of growing out a little bit, but uh, it is what it is. 
and then we're gonna take these and we are gonna tuck them behind my thing now I look nice and weird um <laughs> yep yeah, that's pretty good pretty good so I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face I like to use this earth science uh, fragrance free moisturizer because I have very sensitive skin so it helps t for me to use products that don't have like too much extra in it when it comes to moisturizer and then I just kind of go in and get at it need a little bit more I'm super excited to try these out um, I'm also kind of excited to make a makeup video. Makeup is something that I've always kind of loved. I fell out of uh, wearing it for a while just because I, I don't know, I was going through some stuff. But now I'm like really back into it. So you might get some like get ready with me videos in the future and things like that. Um, hopefully people are interested in that kind of stuff. Okay, we are fully moisturized. And now... We will move on to the first thing I like to do, which is I like to use this KVD concealer. I use a uh, Light 109. I used to use their Locket concealer, but uh, I couldn't find it, uh, my color at all. I wonder if they're like gonna stop selling it. I'm a little worried about that. But I just put a little on under my eyes here. I have to be careful not to be too heavy with my makeup because when I was younger, I had a lot of uh, acne, like uh, um, I mentioned my birthday is uh, April 14th and it might be before or after I film this, but I'm trying to get all the red, but uh, I'm turning 30 and uh, when I was in middle school and I think even high school still, I had kind of like an acne problem. So it's left me a ton of scarring, plus I just have scarring in general because I got bit by a dog and he like ripped off part of my cheek and it left some scarring underneath my eye. And then I, uh, also when I was a baby, I guess on the other side, uh, my parents tell me that I took a, that I somehow got a zipper caught on my face and then zips. Mm, this is graphic. Trigger warning. Uh, the other side of my face, I guess, uh, when I was a baby and then I was in my crib by myself, I somehow got a zipper on my face and I zipped up my face in it. Um, so I don't even remember which side is which, but that's why I have a scar here and a scar here. It might not show up well on camera. And then the rest of it's just acne scarring. But the lighter I kind of am with the foundation and things like that, the less noticeable it is. Now I did have like products and stuff to make them fill my pores and whatnot to like try to like cover it up more, but it actually kind of made it look worse. So I've actually learned that lighter on my makeup is what I have to do. And then I am just going to take this. This is really dirty. It's a, <laughs> I use this a lot. This is my, KVD Locket Foundation. I use the color Light 46 Cool. I got, uh, I went in and got color matched a long time ago, so now I've just been like stuck on the same face products. And I just kind of, this is not how I normally apply it. I don't know how I, why did I do it like this? I think for the sake of the video, normally to be honest, I just put tiny little dots on my face. <laughs> like this. I told you, I'm not a makeup artist. And then I take my beauty blender and I go through my blind self is trying to get closer and closer to the mirror, therefore bringing me closer to the camera. I hope this film's okay. I did test. I got my nose, under the nose, around my piercings. Here, you can never see my forehead, so I don't worry about it that much if I'm being honest. All right. I used to use a, uh, what is it? Like Locket or some type of a uh, Kat Von D concealing powder and I don't use that anymore either cause it was like just messing with my like looks. It was getting into my pores more. It was a, uh, 
pulling more attention to all the scarring and stuff. I'm not ashamed of it. I just, uh, you know, I don't want to make it look, uh, super, super, like, noticeable if it doesn't have to be. Okay. We are padded through here. I think I am actually going to go back. I have, uh, a little bit of acne right there. <laughs> I don't really get too much acne as an adult anymore. But every once in a while, there's just a piece. There's just a little, like, bit that will not go away. <laughs> and takes some time. Okay, we are all set here. Um, just gonna get some of the makeup off my hands so it doesn't interfere with everything else. Okay, and then I don't do too much to my eyebrows because I don't, um, I don't know, I'm fine with like the natural like shape of my eyebrows and how they are. I do have a brow definer by Anastasia. I use their taupe color. And I just sort of brush my eyebrows up with the brush side. And then I go in with the color side. Oh boy, maybe I should have put on my contacts. I'm having real trouble seeing. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. I have a table pushed up against it because I thought that would be the easiest way to film this. Okay. Normally I, uh, I do my makeup and get ready in the outside of my bathroom area. So that's in. Blend it in. See, it doesn't make too much of a difference. I don't even know if it's necessary for me, but I know it's there. I don't like to do the shape in the front of my eyebrows. I used to, like, really carve them out, but oh, that's just not me anymore. Now we will start with the fun part. We're gonna go in to the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon palette that I just got. We're gonna open it up and I'm looking over these colors and trying to pick what we're going to use. Hmm. I'm trying to get an idea in my head. So I'm wearing all pink with some blue. There's not, actually, there's not like super, super pink colors. Like we have this here. I also do my makeup a little bit strange, like the, the coloring and the blending. It's a really chaotic. Um, I have, I don't even use the right makeup brushes, but I have like a whole giant set and I only use three of them. We're gonna use the Morphe RR3. This is the one that I use the most often. And we're gonna dip into, I think, love. Yeah, let's dip into the love color. So pretty. And then we're just gonna put a little bit here. Gotta get closer. Just a bit, just a bit, just a bit. Oops, I went into the wrong color the second time, but I fixed it. I think, okay. This side needs a little bit more. I know, I do this really weird. <laughs> um, ooh, I don't know how to handle this. Normally I tap this on the inside of my sink when I'm done and then I, uh, so I don't, I do clean my brushes, but I don't clean them after like, you know, every application and I like to use this brush. So I'm just like, I have a makeup wipe here and I'm tapping it on the edge of the table so it falls off. I wish I could show you, it's kind of funny. Um, so we have some love on our eyes. I think for the back side, I, I want something sparkly, but I'm not sure which one to use. I think even though I'm not wearing any purple, I might use this Luna color because I'm really obsessed. I might end up looking a little crazy here, but we will see. But this Luna color is really pretty. We're gonna take Luna on our brush. don't know why I say everything in purple. In, um, I don't know why I say everything plural. I think it's just because I'm filming. Okay. Ooh. I am here for it. Very here for this color. Of course, that could just be my blind self not realizing that I might look crazy. <laughs> 
Sometimes I do like a lot of brown on the outer, but I'm not going to, especially because I really want to use some of these like glitters. We'll probably use the light pink one, even though I think this one is way more um, beautiful with the like moons and stars. I like the color of this one and I think it'll match my outfit better. Okay. And then we tap this and then I'm going to dip into Silver Millennium right here. It's gonna end up coming up with a little bit of pink, but to be honest, I, uh, like from the brush previously, but I kinda like that. I used to do the inside corner with my eyes, cause that's what I'm going with, with this Morphe R42 brush, but I don't like to do that as much anymore. Now I kinda like to pile on the sweetness. And this brush seems to pile on the sweetness of my makeup. Okay, just blending it in. Trying to make sure that I'm in view of the camera, but also I have to see in my mirror. This is difficult. Okay, that's looking real pretty. Kind of wish I would have used silver crystal now for this part, but uh, you know, we're gonna take it as is. I like to be heavy in the corners of my eyes, so they shimmer. I like me some shimmer. <laughs> so cute! I don't know if you all think so, but I do. Okay, and now what I do to blend my makeup, it is not the best routine. I would love for somebody to sometime teach me to blend my makeup better. I've tried to like follow tutorials and stuff, I'm just not good at it. But usually I take the lightest color on the palette, so we're gonna go with Shining Moon. And then I just kind of brush lightly with this Morphe <laughs> R35. I don't think you guys uh, care that much about the brush. Maybe you do, maybe you're really into makeup. Um, but I like to take this Morphe brush and just kind of lightly go all around my eye and kind of just blend the outsides of the colors a little bit more together. So that way it looks a little bit more, I don't know, put together. <laughs> okay, so this is what we've got so far. I also have small eyelids so sometimes it's like hard to like put on too much makeup but I really like it. I wish I had bigger eyelids just so I could pile on more makeup. That is literally the only reason. Okay I think we are done with the eyeshadow because uh if I don't stuff there I'm going to put all the colors on and it'll look ridiculous because I'm really excited about it. I'll probably be using this palette so much. Okay and now that those are done, the next thing that I like to do is eyeliner. And so, got a lot of stuff on this table. I'm going to use the black by uh, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is my favorite one to use. It's kind of running out. I might need to get another one soon. Now this is the part that I have to concentrate. And believe me, yes I know you're not supposed to pull on your eye. But uh, because of the way that my eyes are shaped, I have a lot of trouble. Um, I've tried to like not pull on it, it just doesn't work as well. Um, I heard it can be really damaging, so just be aware of that if, uh, if you do the same thing that I do. I guess it's like damaging and can give you more like stretch marks if you're worried about that. I will be quiet during this part so that way I don't um screw it up. It's really hard to do this while trying to look in the mirror but making sure I'm on camera. When uh, this wasn't running out I could do things in more of like one swoop but I can't do it now since it's like so um, worn down. I'm 
Again, the pulling on the eyelids. Don't try this at home, kids. Or, you know, adults, women my age, anybody older. Okay, so now we're gonna wing it. And what I normally do is pull up from down here. I don't think... So my wings are okay, I think more so when my makeup, uh, when my eyeliner isn't running out, but I'm not the greatest at winging it. I'm starting to like sit all crazy to try to get this done. Bum bum bum. Uh, if I can just get it with no weird mistakes. Yes, all right, there we go. We are winged. <laughs> Next step I like to do is mascara. And uh, at the end I will be putting on some fake lashes, but uh, mascara first is what I like to do. So I curl my lashes. And I hold it for about 10 seconds. So I like to use, I'm not sure if YouTube lets me say the last word on this, but better than, I'm sure you know it, by Too Faced. I'm still unfamiliar with the YouTube like rules on what you can get away with saying. It's a makeup product, so I assume you could say it, but uh, you know. This one's also running out. I have a new one. And I would have opened it for the sake of this video, but I really want to get all the use I can out of these because uh, these are my more like expensive products. I guess they're not like super expensive, but for me, I am not a rich gal. I get by. And I like to buy a lot of things, so I have to be very particular. Okay, yeah, you can definitely tell that it's running out because it, uh, <laughs> it didn't make them as full as they normally do, but that's okay because I will be doing fake lashes. Next, I'm going to try one of the blushes. I don't often wear blush because I feel like I'm very bad at applying it. Let's see here. There's a lighter one, and we have the darker one. So the darker one intrigues me, but I don't know if I'm brave enough for it. So let's use the lighter one. And we have to we have to get in on Luna's face. I'm going to use the Morphe R4. I don't know if this is true. Somebody told me this is the one for blush. Uh, so that's what I do. I have this giant bag of like Morphe brushes, but I never know which one is for what. So I would like a guide. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay. Get all over little Luna's cute face. But is this too much? Like, I think I, maybe I make it too heavy. I heard that you're also supposed to go up. I used to do that with like highlighter. I don't really wear highlighter anymore. I find that it does what I said, where it like shows my pores and stuff too much. Oh, this is a pretty color. I don't know if I'm applying this right, guys. Forgive me. Um, feel free to kindly leave me makeup tips if you would like to down below. I would appreciate it. But again, I'm just having fun. And I like my makeup, so I think that's all that matters. Okay, we've got blush on. It's uh, kind of subtle, but it's there. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna use the glitter. Let's see how this applicator is. Like, I think it's gonna be like my My Little Pony. Oh, this is not like my My Little Pony ones. Hopefully this stays um, on without anything. Cause I have these like really pretty ones from their My Little Pony collection that I just like usually dab my finger. I'm able to like put it where I want, but I'm not sure if this will fall off or not. Hopefully not. I'm also going to use a setting spray after this. It looks to be a little bit gooey, so I don't think it would. Oh, it is. It is gooey. Okay. Yeah, that works. I'll be able to just, let's see, put some under here. 
I like glitter a lot. Here. And then let's put some more down here. And up here. I go a little nuts. I don't think you can ever have too many sparkles. I'm gonna assume they show up better off camera than on camera because this is legit. It's very sticky. Pretty. Put some more up here. Overdo it on the glitter because that's who I am. Okay, let me try to get closer to the camera to see if that's shown. Oh no. I'm gonna put their little uh, tab thing to stop it from getting all over the lid in here. <laughs> Using these makeup products is making me really happy right now. Okay, oh, I moved the camera. Okay, so, I don't know how well the glitter is showing up on camera, but hopefully you can see it. I used to have this really cute, uh, I had a Rilakkuma and a uh, little kitty like headband that I used to put my hair back with when I did my makeup. But I like, since I've moved like into this apartment from the last place I lived, I did not find them anywhere. So I might have to get like another one. But I have been using these clips that I usually use when I'm trying to like style wigs. So they've been useful. I should have put some more in the sides. I did not. Okay, time for lips. We're gonna do a combination. I'm trying to decide. Hmm. Let's make them pop. This one looks more looks like it's gonna make them pop with this makeup. So this is Usagi, and then we're gonna layer over it the Sailor Moon one. Allow me to get to very close so I don't mess up. I also used to use like a lot of lip scrubs and stuff and I should probably start doing that again because I just like how they feel. So I'm always very uh, paranoid that I'm gonna mess up my lip shape. <laughs> so I don't like to talk while doing this. And then I always rub my lips together. I know uh, that might be a thing of the past now, but my grandma, um, she passed away a few years ago and I love my grandma very much. And she is the one who told me to always rub your lips together after you put on lipstick, so I do. I like the popping noise. It's fun. Okay, now for the gloss. Here is the lipstick, and this should be dry. So before I put on the fake lashes, I like to go in with this Urban Decay All Nighter. Sorry, everything's like a little, I don't know. You can tell I use this stuff a lot. <laughs> and I just like a couple of quick sprays. It takes forever to dry in my opinion, but this is the best spray that I've found. This one is a, uh, let's see, it's got temperature control, I don't know, it keeps my makeup from melting unless something really happens, like melting off my face during the day usually. Um, it says you should like reapply it and stuff, but I've actually never had to, so that's neat. Wait for this to dry, this is what I normally do for like ever. It's crazy. Okay, so now I feel really cute. I used to use glue lashes and now I have just switched to magnetic lashes. But that involves magnetic eyeliner. And I feel like this magnetic eyeliner takes a long time to dry and I have to use like a decent amount or it doesn't like stay on it. And I kind of make a mess because I have to keep my eyes closed. So of course like I'll edit it down so you guys don't have to wait for it to dry but uh, I have to wait for it to dry and hopefully I don't mess up my uh, makeup badly because that would be really disappointing. It is the only downfall, but I keep putting them on because I'm really trying to master using this liquid 
um, eyeliner for the magnetic eyelashes. Sorry, my brain is like trailing off. So, I'm going to be very focused while doing this because I don't want to F up. I have to make sure it goes in pretty far and to the back. And then I have to keep my eye closed and try not to blink or squint because it will then automatically transfer to my upper thing. To like the upper part of my eye, I mean. Um, wish me luck. Okay, one at a time. Because I can't close it. And I will wait for it to dry. With this eye closed as patiently as possible. <laughs> been enjoying YouTube because I can edit stuff out so I don't have to like panic as much and I don't have to worry as much and it's just nice. Um, so I can be my unapolog- <laughs> So I can be my unapologetically hyper self. Sometimes I have too much energy for my own good and sometimes I'm just like tired. Um, it's hard to tell in person because I'm so shy. But uh, once you get to know me, you find out I like to like talk a lot. And a lot of times it's about like Lolita. <laughs> okay, now the magnetic stuff is on the other eye. Um, if anybody has any tips or product suggestions that might be easier and make less of a mess and ruin my looks less, please let me know. Um, I thought I got decent stuff. I read reviews, but I really don't want to go back to glue lashes because I often got the glue in my eye too. I'm a klutz. I am very much so a klutz. A lot of my friends can attest to this. I just got a new pair of rocking horseshoes from Bodyline, and I think I'm going to wear them out this weekend, and it's going to be really funny because I can barely walk in them. At first I was like, these are sitting shoes. And then I was like, oh my gosh, they're too cute. They are not just sitting shoes. Okay, hopefully this is dry enough to pop on some lashes. I like these lashes. They're big, um, but that's good because I had smaller lashes before this and now that I don't wear contacts very much and I wear my glasses more, um, you can still see them like well enough because a lot of times they were like hidden. Ugh, this one's hard to get on because I messed it up so bad, but it still went on. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Now I don't want to mess up the lashes because they're a bit uh, expensive for my price range so I don't reuse my spray or anything like that after. I'm gonna put on my glasses one second just to take down my bangs and straighten them out and see what I look like better because it's hard with my glasses off. Oh, my bangs got <laughs> a little bit jumbled but we're still all right. I use a straightener to like uh, curl my bangs a little weirdly because I like when they're like pretty short but I also have a colic that sometimes makes it hard oh okay I'm here for this hmm I wish I would have done a little bit of a better job on the lipstick but this is what I've got um here we go <laughs> trying to show it off feels a little awkward. Um, yeah. So my makeup is done and I believe that is it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching if you stuck in there. Um, again, if you have any makeup tips or anything for me, they would be appreciated. Please be nice. <laughs> um, I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time you are watching this. I really would like to find a better outro, but I don't know what, what I want to say yet. Um, one day, one day we'll change it and figure it out. Um, back to it though, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.